showing you how to make a kill death kill streak kill death ratio in minecraft bedrock using tags so um it's a little si similar to the last video i showed you but this time you can keep keep inventory on you don't need anything in the player's inventory you don't need an exp system to detect for like a exp orb on the ground it just tags it's all tags so let's go straight into this one so this is the, the display this is the display so title raw at a action bar raw text text and then this is the title so i could do like command command block tutorial then it changes to command block tutorial and then score name times objective test text these it has to have three of these these brackets text um and then slash n it has has to be the backwards slash not this slash it has to be this one and then kills and then make sure there's a space right there so it displays the numbers so it's not right next to the kills and then score name this part and then objective and then you can change this this is where you're gonna put your scoreboard so you could put like test if you don't want to put anything or for example i have kill as the tag as the scoreboard the player gets once a kill player and then eliminate a player and then text death and then the same thing score name objective death text slash end kill streak and then the same thing you can just keep on rinse and repeat that you can do text and then those numbers and then slash and whatever you want and then the two brackets and score name and everything like that so i'm not going to do that though you can do that if you want to add more stuff and then text slash n kit kdr or whatever you want to put here this doesn't matter you can put literally anything in the kdr or any one of these like death kill streak you put anything there and then score name objective kdr text score name objective oh wait okay so this part i put a comma there so it's like it shows that they there is a like a 0 0.3 is my KD so it's gonna the three is gonna show on the opposite side of this comma on the right side and then score name objective KDR decimals <clears throat> so I'm gonna list every single objective we scoreboard we need in this tutorial if you're getting an error on a missing scoreboard or something you don't know what's missing and then this is a death system so uh, repeat always active scoreboard players add at a tag equals dead entity death one by the way to get this tags for these tags to work you must download a mod that i showed off in my previous video literally the one behind one before this one I'll le leave the link in the description if you want to watch that. There's a lot of more tags to add. And then the MC pedal page where you can download it will be in the description too. And a tutorial if you're on Xbox and you want to download the mod and have no clue. And then the kills, repeat always active, scoreboard players add at A. Tag equals murder entity, kill one. You can't change these tags. You can't unless you want to go in the source code of the mod. It must have the murder entity kill one. Then the kill streak repeat always active scoreboard players add at a tag equals murder entity kill streak one. Simple. And this is just resetting the scoreboard once the player dies. Repeat always active scoreboard players reset at a tag equals dead entity kill streak. So that's the main part. This area is for the kill streak. If you watch my previous video, you can you don't have to watch the rest. This is gonna be the same, but for the new people, just 
watching this video, uh, you should watch this part. R repeat was active. Scoreboard player set at a 100. This is a scoreboard, by the way. You must have this as a scoreboard. So you do scoreboard objectives add 100 and then dummy. And then 100 after that. Uh, in the score in the command block train unconditional always active execute as at a run scoreboard players operation at s a hundred times equals to at s kdr what these do the times equals the definitions of these will be in the description so you can learn about it if you're trying to use it later and then this repeat always active execute as I a run scoreboard players operation at as kdr equals at as kill. Yeah, I'll leave this on for a few seconds. And um, so if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I for more content like this, I'll be uploading more command block tutorials. The last world that I had for. The tutorials I lost and now I start a new world I will once I'm when I do a lot of videos on this world I'll um, put this on a a page MC pedal for you guys to download that's later though chain unconditional always active execute as I a Run scoreboard players operation at s kdr divided by in equals to at s death. Make sure you type all of this correctly. Oh, if you get an error error with um with this command, let me know in the description. No, oh, I mean let me know by DMing DMing me on Discord. Uh, and send me the the command and the error so send me this command or whatever command you're you need help on and then send me this right here with this right here okay so ching unconditional always active scoreboard players add at a kdr decimal zero pretty simple honestly Repeat always active scoreboard player set at a KDR decimals 100. Chain unconditional always active execute as at a run scoreboard players operation at s KDR decimals times equals to at s kills. And then chain unconditional always active execute as at a run scoreboard players operation. At s kdr decimals divided by equals to at s death uh, chain unconditional is active execute as at a run scoreboard players operation at s kdr decimals minus equals to at s 100 so that's all the command blocks in this video and once you're done this is what should happen if a player dies it should just increase by one and since my deaths don't get affected since i'm dying my kdr should go down after a while of dying so you see it went down by one point zero one so Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know for if you have any video suggestions in the video in the description. But I'll see you in the next.